What's up, everybody? Uh, I'm here to talk about a new plant that might help you out uh, with some of your maybe plant trials and tribulations that you might have going. It's a Pogostemon samsonii, uh, which is a fairly new plant to me. I've had it for about two months now, give or take. I think about two months. I've got it growing in a couple of different aquariums. I got it in the 240, and I got it here in the 150. Now, I've planted some of it here, I've planted some of it there, and I've also saved the stems for re-sprouting. And so far, things have gone quite well. Uh, the first thing I would mention is that this grows much more sustainably as compared to Pogostemon salatus octopus. For me, I'm constantly having to trim that one. The Pogostemon erectus, I am also having to trim that one constantly. So far, Samsonii is a little slower paced, although it does have that really vibrant green that a lot of us are looking for. It is a stem plant, you know, just like the other Pogostemon, but it does have a different shape leaf, has a little sawtooth a little bit to the leaf, which I think is great. I think there's a lot of appeal to it. And like I said, it has that very vibrant green. So far, I've been growing it under the Fluval uh, Fresh and Plant 3.0, you know, uh, that's to, that's the lights that I have on this aquarium right here. I actually have two of the 48 inch ver, uh, version on this 150 gallon. Uh, maybe that's a hot tip for somebody out there that uh, may or may not be new to the channel, but most people that uh, follow my channel know that this aquarium has that, uh, has those two Fluval Fresh and Plant 3.0s on there. And uh, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with these lights for sure. I'm using the easy green and uh, Easy Iron, those, those are two uh, fertilizers I'm using via Aquarium Co-op. Thank you to Aquarium Co-op for helping out with some fertilizer. Very much appreciate it. It's a great one-stop fertilizer and yeah, I like using it. Other than that, I have added um, some crushed coral to this system to bring the hardness up a little bit. Uh, obviously for the guppies, which I did a video about that a while ago. Uh, and I've also needed a little extra hardness for the styrogyne and for this um, type of pogostemon, the Samsonii. Uh, it does need a little bit more hardness to the water. You don't want it to be completely soft. Uh, I am adding CO2 to this aquarium. It's actually being fed into a reactor into the sump, uh, which stay tuned to the channel. We'll be building some new reactors here very, very soon. We're waiting on just a couple of parts to come ship from wherever, but we'll be building some new reactors. Uh, other than that, has been very simple maintenance. I have re-sprouted the stems with the uh, plant weight still attached. What I do in my method of getting plants in that are on a weight, I get a bunch of stems, I will drop them in the aquarium and let them just kind of acclimate to the tank for a week, week and a half until I start to get some good growth on there. Then I'll trim all the tops, plant that, and allow those bases of the stems to re-sprout and hopefully propagate some more of the plant because I typically will only buy one or maybe even two bunches of a plant at a time and this is a great way for me to populate and propagate that plant when I'm adding it to my aquariums. Uh, so far so good. The good thing about this is that it is growing slower. Um, you know pH in this tank is sitting at about 6.8 so it's nothing too crazy high nothing too crazy low uh, but like i said i did have to add a little bit of hardness to the water uh, and i'm using easy green and it's all been a really simple a very bright green addition to the tank which is great because i was getting too many reds in this aquarium so i needed a couple more bright greens to be popping in here uh, to accent a lot of the reds and things definitely recommend this plant uh, and was well worth the I think it was like seven dollars. I think it's like six ninety nine uh, for this bunch of plant. Um, so very happy. If you can find it somewhere, awesome. If you can find it local, that's great. I always recommend people if you can find your plants locally grown, that's going to be the best place to get them. Or you could just search around on the old internet and uh, find some on there. Uh, if this video is a little bit helpful to you. Um, Go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit all those goofy buttons. Uh, you can hit the join button if you like, if that's something you want to do. Or you can go over to Patreon and uh, 
for as little as one dollar a month you can become one of the oceaneers what are the oceaneers i don't know it's just a nickname for the people that follow the channel and uh you know comment do those things if you really have any questions post them down there or a kudos or a whatever i appreciate it everyone appreciates it and i'll talk to you all on the other side of the other side of what i don't know but just the other side all right later You guys just bust in on me filming me filming this plant? Y'all crazy. Y'all crazy. <laughs>